Hey guys, this is Sam for developerbackpack.com. Now, if you've ever wondered how a circular image like this is created on a mobile app, um, then this is the video to watch. Uh, let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, once we have our project set up, I'm going to assume that you are familiar with Xamarin Forms. The focus of this presentation is essentially how to show you that snippet of um, XAML code. So I'm not going to go back and you know show you how to set up. I'll probably record that in another video. So I'm going to assume you have your project set up either on your Windows machine or just like me on your Mac. Um, once your solution was created, you have three projects in here, your Xamarin Forms, uh, the Android, and then the iOS project. Now, one of the reasons why Xamarin Forms is so cool is because there are, there are a whole army of developers out there who are building plugins and other cool stuff where we don't necessarily have to write from scratch. Um, you know, so we have um, an image circle plugin up on Git, uh, GitHub. Uh, created by James Montemagno. Uh, it's, it's, it's very easy and um, you know we're gonna set this up in a matter of um, seconds. So the first thing we're gonna do is to go inside of our project and I've already set this up but I want to show you how you would do this. So you would right click on packages, add packages and then search for image circle. So <clears throat> your first result should be the XAM plugins.forms image circle. Select the checkbox and click add package. It's as simple as that. So we're going to do this for the other projects in our solution as well. Click add packages. Um, we're going to search for image circle and then we're going to add them as well. So I've already done this. Um, follow along if you if you want to. And uh, the next step is going to be as simple as adding a couple of lines of code and we will be ready to try it out. Right, so now our packages have been added. So you can see here under packages I have the image circle plugin. I have done the same thing for the Android project and then the iOS project as well. Right, so I have a simple page here, very simple. The first thing we need to do Per the instructions of uh, this plugin is to add a new namespace for the sake of time I'm just gonna copy this so copy this and uh, go up here and just paste that in there right so this namespace defines the uh, various constructs or the syntax which you will be able to use in order to formulate our image circle. Right. The next thing I'm going to do is to create a st simple stack layout over here. I'm going to set the horizontal options to center and I'm going to do the same for the vertical options to center. And um, all right. So what I'm going to do next is to declare my circular image. Now, remember we pasted in this <clears throat> new namespace. And what this does is it gives us new um, IntelliSense. So you can see that once I type C, it gives us controls, colon, circle image. So just hit tab. And then we're going to set some properties. What you will need to do, obviously, is to set the source where this image um, is going to come from. We'll copy that in a second. We're also going to set the uh, width request. All right, so let's set this to 160 points and we'll set the height request as well to 160. And now let's close this up. Uh, I have my image link here from Wikipedia. Okay, so this is as simple as it gets. Let's try this out. All right, so as you can see, this is a circular image um, in the iOS, iOS uh, simulator. It's as simple as that, guys. It's basically setting, making sure you set the source of your image, set the width and the height request to be the same value, and then you also set the aspect fill. 
Make sure you don't set any background colors, otherwise this will basically cover the entire screen and you won't be able to see your image. So um, let's take a look at this also in the Android emulator. Okay, I just spun up my Android emulator and this is how it looks. I'm gonna put the iOS simulator next to it. So it looks pretty much the same. And that of course is the advantage of doing cross-platform uh, mobile development. You write code once and you can get it on two platforms, right? I hope you've enjoyed the video. Drop me any questions. Make sure to subscribe and um, check out my other videos coming soon.